Welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. My name's Mike, and I'm so glad to be with you today. We're going to be cooking Zatarain's long grain and wild rice. Long grain and wild rice go with so many different things, you know, chicken, fish, uh, you name it. It's a great side dish for a protein. And today we'll be making this rice dish with a little bit of a twist because we're going to be adding some mushrooms and green onion and parsley and some regular onions. We'll show you how it all works. In the meantime, I have two and a quarter cups of water on right now and it's starting to boil. We're going to add in this Herbox sodium-free chicken stock and some butter, maybe about a tablespoon. We'll do that first. Put the butter in while the butter is melting. Let me get my little scissors out and we're going to put two of these packets in and we're going to put our chicken stock together. And now that it's up to a nice boil, we'll stir it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And now we'll take the rice that comes in this pouch I've already opened it and we're just going to pour it all in just like that. And then we'll stir it up. When it comes back to a boil, we'll turn it down to a simmer and we're going to simmer it for 25 minutes and then we'll show you the next step. Okay. The skillet's heating up already, and I'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter and some grapeseed oil. We'll start off by just adding a little grapeseed oil, some butter, and we're going to throw in our onions. We're going to wait till these onions are totally caramelized because that's what's going to help make the rice have that nice sweet flavor to it. You're going to love this. Might take a few minutes, but when this gets caramelized, you'll see what I'm talking about. The onions are about as brown as I want them to get. So I'm going to add in some garlic. I decided to add in a tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to add in all of my mushrooms, which is about eight ounces. Pinch of salt, black pepper. Got to add in some of our homegrown caliente hot sauce. About almost a tablespoon would do it. Let me see. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure, you know. And we'll throw in a little parsley, some green onion, and toss it all around. When the mushrooms are cooked, we're going to add all of this into the rice, and it is going to be good. The rice has been simmering for 25 minutes now. And it's time to add in the mushrooms and the onions and the garlic. Here we go. Look how pretty that looks. I'm going to add in a little fresh parsley right now. Some more green onion tops. Mix that around. Oh, I know it's going to be good. 
This rice is outstanding. This will accompany, like I said, chicken, fish, pork, you name it. This is a great rice to have. So maybe you can give this a try. It's not difficult to do. Uh, let's face it, you have to cook the rice anyway for 25 minutes. You may as well add some mushrooms and onions, a little garlic, a little caliente if you have some. It's just really a great dish. We hope you liked our recipe for long grain and wild rice. Great recipe. Give it a try sometime. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And go get you some long grain and wild rice and have a great weekend. God bless you.